Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today we will see how to move user databases to an another drive. So whenever you create a new database in SQL Server, it gets created in the default location. It is either C drive or the drive where you have installed SQL Server. So ideally SQL Server should not be mixed with your system file. So, so do not uh, install SQL Server on C drive. It's better to install SQL Server on different drive. And uh, also if you have SQL Server installed on C drive, do not put your data files into the C drive so that you know in case of system crashes or some issues your data files are safe so today we'll see what are the methods where you can move your data files from you know already re already uh, restored or present in C drive or the default drive to another drive so first method is the detach and attach that I've already discussed in my previous video you can check the link here second is the backup and restore method that is also I've discussed in my previous video please check the link here the third one is the alter command the alter command like the way you can alter your tables and views you can also alter a database so the syntax goes here first of all you have to make the database in offline mode so for that you have to apply alter database database name set offline command then to move the data files you have to use this statement alter database database name and modify file name so by default there are two files in a database always one is the MDF file and another one is the LDF file MDF is the master data file and LDF is the log data file so this one the the data file will go here and the new location will go here and after the files are moved you have to issue a online statement you have to take the database you have to make the database available online Okay, so let's use these three statements and move ahead. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll create a new database here and um, I will set it to, you know, by default location. So I have created this database name as mandb. And I'll uh, copy this. Okay, so first of all, we'll see the database location. Okay, so just do a select star from mandb dot sys dot data base underscore files so this will show me the data file of this database are stored here so my SQL server on this machine is installed on D drive under this particular folder so my database by default created on this file location with other drives so let me show you here is the data created with my other system databases okay now let's say I want to move this database to another drive that is e drive and this folder that is uh, e slash SQL DBs okay so uh, let me you know copy these uh, thing here over here right now okay so that you know I have to use these names in my queries below so so first of all what I have to do is I have to you know take this database to offline so that I can make the changes right so if you do a refresh in the database you can see this database mandb is offline mode now it says the move the files to the new location okay so here the database is created under this particular folder D program files which is nothing but this folder location okay now I have to move these two files from this location to the E drive so what I'll do is I'll cut and paste them here I'll move them here continue and now these are moved to this new location now what I have to do is I have to you know issue the alter database statement so that I can move my database so first is the MDF file name that is the mandb and the new location is this e drive e and SQL DB okay slash and the file name is mandb.mdf I'll copy it from here paste it here and my second file is the LDF file so you can move just one file or you can move both of the files so it's your wish so but I'll I'll move both of the files so this is LDF and the file name is this okay so the logical name is this and the physical name is this right now I'll issue the alter statement so that this gets returned to the SQL Server catalog. Okay, so I'll execute it 
So it says that the file, both of the files have been modified in the system catalog. The new file will be used when the next time database is started. So to start the database, I have to just bring it online. So I'll copy this and put it here. Alter database man DB set online. Okay, I'll execute it. And upon refreshing this, you can see man DB is now online. Okay. Now let's try to execute this statement again mandb.sys.database files it will show me the new location okay so the new location is this let me copy it here for you okay so you can see here right the new location for both these databases are here so my mandb database was previously in the drive now i have moved my mandb database to this new drive that is e drive so just for your information every database have at least these two data files one is the mdf and another one is the ldf mdf is the master data file that contains the real data ldf is the log data file which contains transaction logs of any database okay so this is all about moving a user database to a new location so in my next videos, I'll show you how to move system database from one location to another location. So stay tuned. Please like the video. Please let me know your comments and please subscribe. Thank you.